Hey guys, welcome once again to another video of Hogwarts Legacy. We're going to encounter another day on Hogwarts. The last time, uh, if I remember well, we had to go in the library, sneak around to find a book that eventually showed us uh, the story about the girl. And her brother was sick, and the wizards didn't uh, heal the brother. So I'm, I'm thinking she's holding a grudge, because at the same time they healed the whole landscape around her. But I think she's still holding a grudge uh, because of them not healing her brother. So let's have a look what they got in store for us today. This is our dude. Forgot we... Uh, Upgraded him today. I think I got some new skins as well um, Yesterday that I didn't check out yet So we might want to do that first Yeah, so we're still in the library. This is where we ended Start with this chest maybe and Then give it a spin Now we want to go to gear and I think No scarves. Maybe not. Uh huh. White outfit. Okay. That's pretty cool. Tomes and Tribulations. I think we'll be interested to see the book I found below the restricted section. I should take it to him. Okay. Let's go bring it. We're starting to come to the same place multiple times, so we're starting to recognize the castle a little bit. We've been here quite a bit already. This is Fig's classroom. Begin the quest. Take the book to Professor Fig. Wait. Oh, who's this? You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. 
What can you find out, Professor? Oh. Oh dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them? What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the Ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. Of I course, Professor. It. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. You've unlocked. You've unlocked your worst film in a challenge menu. That's cool. So we completed a big part of the main quest now, I guess. Let's have a look. Legendary cape. <laughs> cool. Anything else? Cool. I oh, really want to give that a try though. Mm. It's a blue one. Oh, it was right on the picture before. Well, uh. Also, this replaces the whole rob. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'll post. Who's this, Lucan? It's time to prove your dueling medal and see if. What is this writing? It's time to prove your dueling medal and see if we've a new school champion. We've, we have, okay. Meet me at your usual place for the final round of crossed wands. Also, the training dummy is still available. Lucan. Okay. Professor Hackett. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I've given you and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Okay. So, we want to do... Some spell combination and looking first. Actually, no, 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 no. We're gonna do Professor Hackett first because we get an extra defensive spell. As possible, I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do okay. so outside of the castle. This is what we call a clusterfuck, ladies and gentlemen. 
so we want to get the defensive spell first for dueling and the other assignments. Have asked that I teach you an additional defense. But the thing is, we have to actually go into combat and dodge roll ten times, cast incendio five times to be able to do that quest. So we need to go to Lucan and combat. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Yes, Professor. I'm on it. And Nelly just sent you an outpost requesting to meet her in Lower Hawksfield at Hamlet. Well, everyone needs me. I see Nelly, but I'm kinda... I'll see you after Professor Hackett, okay? No? Okay. They're making me do it. This is where well, most of them have is covered by fog, limiting what you can see. Hamlets are small communities throughout the world. This is the Hamlet Lower Hawksfield. Hamlets provide new opportunities for vendors, flu flames, side quests, and collectibles. As you explore, you will remove fog and reveal more of the map, unveiling new opportunities like Hamlets, dungeons, bandit camps, and many other locations. Okay. Let's go do some dueling first, then go to Professor Hackett, and then go to, uh, oh, not, a, not this again, we're not falling for it again, we're going down this time. This way? Mm -hmm. I don't think we've been here before. Could be wrong. you learn some spells or something that uh, will fill that fountain up or something I don't know and this could be Akio maybe no well there is a oh, yeah, yeah. feel that speech Gotta accept that we just cannot do some things yet. Same with the statues, still don't know what they're doing. Okay, Lucan. What's up? Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Or hello, Lucan. Is the final round of crossings ready? We'll do some training first. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? Yes, sir. That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. That was, I pressed X though. That's unfortunate, I did press X. Oh, where are you going? 
Instantly. Let's go. Impressive wand work. I take to face you in a duel. Couldn't have done it without you, Lucan. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed wands. Other duelists had better beware. Mm hmm. Talking about crossed wands. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of cross wands ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? Absolutely. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, because you're making me a... Uh... Let's go with Seb. Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. Because otherwise you're sending me in solo against three or four players. We can make this a real victory. Okay. That's oh boy. I don't get why it, it's like. Oh shit. Finish that one. Touch, you good. Oh. Where's Seb? Oh boy. This is hard. Where was Seb at? <laughs> I thought Seb was battling those other tombs. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Mm. Yep, we lost the championship round. We're officially no champion. Oh. Why am I jumping? Ouch, ouch. again yes I'm ready now very well good luck out there I'm confused is Seb on my side <laughs> where's Sebastian let me stay behind him let's defend Seb gone? Ow. This is super hard. Care to try again? Yeah, I don't. Um. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. This is really hard. I don't know where. What I, I should be defending constantly, maybe. Let's just do some defense. Ow. Oh, dude. <laughs> this is impossible.
The thing is, I feel like Sebastian isn't doing much. Yes, I'm ready now. I had the same feeling last time, but yeah, I think it's better than doing it alone, but still. Focus. Incendio. Incendio. Where's Sebat? My low. Oh boy. Why am I fighting the, the lady? That was better. I'm still not there, but that was better. This is gonna be super hard. Yes, I'm ready now. Nah, it needs my full focus apparently. I can't get hit. Oh why? Activating um the solution. Care to try again? Yes, I'm, I'm getting there though. Very well. Good luck out there. I'm getting there. Focus. Ouch. Oh, dude. Oh, I'm getting slaughtered. I'm getting slaughtered. Jeez, that was bad. Care to try again? How, yes, how many right times now. are we going to try this? That's Good the question. See, I'm doing it again. 
See, I'm, I keep... I don't, why am I disillusioning this whole time? Maybe that's his problem. See, I'm gonna do something first. Because I keep using disillusion while I'm not holding the right trigger. No, I don't think so. Not right now. Understandable, but don't take too long. We'll be waiting. I want. Yes. Lucan, come on. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of Cross Wands ready? Look who's back. Ready to redeem yourself? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? You want to try Natty? Let's see yes, what Natty has. Natty. Then let's get started. Maybe Natty is a legend. We Gotta can give her a chance. Victory. That's the spirit. Now we gotta focus. It's two down. It's two down. I think we're good now. Oh no! I think we got him. Natty, you're a legend. Natty, you made it so easy. Look at that. So it was sap this whole time. <laughs> Oh, dang it. Oh, man. It's an honor. I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. But and Natty was a legend, honestly. A gracious champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize. And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Okay. Very nice. Collections. Let's see, do we have other things? Mm -hmm. Nothing too special. All right, let's see what quests we have. So we did uh, the assignment. What's the next assignment? I've completed Professor Hackett's assignment. Now, I need to return to defense against the Dark Art classroom so that I can learn the disarming charm from her. Well, let's go. And then we gotta meet uh, the girl, right? Forgot her name. Lost to a new student? Hmm, I didn't see that coming. It's alright, brother. It's alright.
Might some kind soul help me? Later. I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. I did, Professor. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spell casting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Let's. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Expelliarmus, is that it? Yep. <laughs> Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is it? I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House, like you. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigella's flag for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. Wounded by time itself? How does that happen? Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Uh, as you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. Okay. Thank Where you, Professor. Where are your school robes? Expelliarmus! You seem to have the right end of the stick. Keep moving! Expelliarmus may save your life. Expelliarmus! Mm-hmm. Have a look. Sorry, I was just looking for a second because my controller keeps vibrating since the champion's around. And it's like I'm having a, I'm holding a huge dildo <laughs> in my hand constantly. So yeah, I was trying to fix it. It's not doing it right now, but I'm pretty sure when I go out of the menu, it's uh, 
gonna start again anyway. Except for that, I was going to quests. <clears throat> so Natty wants me to meet her. And I need to do her biology, so let's go to Natty first. Because that sounded kind of urgent. Yeah, see, there it goes again, it's still vibrating. Oh well. I'll fix that later. Worse things in life than holding a dildo, I guess. <laughs> wow. Okay. Jesus. I mean, it was the third time, but <laughs> he still keeps going. <laughs> I mean, it was the third time, but that was kind of excessive, wouldn't you say? Hmm, outside. I noticed last time that's the... Um, is it called Quidditch Field? Well, what is it called? Yeah. The field where you fly with broomsticks. Trying to catch some balls. Okay. Guess we're going into the forest. Isn't that Hagrid's? Blue Flames location discovered. Up here to the left, what's this? Apparently I picked it up. What was that noise? Jumping mushrooms. Leaping toadstool caps. Oh, you can come with me, boys. Look at the castle. It's pretty cool. More of you guys. Oh, am I going the wrong way? I am. We have to go to the right here, apparently. Yes. 
good afternoon. Chickens. What's up, chick chick? Oh, he's not scared at all. They probably don't eat chickens here, right? And a thief. What's up, dude? A ram. <laughs> it's like, yo, what's up? <laughs> uh, that's some big pumpkins. I wonder who lives here. Can I go in? Hello? Oh, the money we are but I'm just gonna search this bag real quick. Just check this chest real quick. And I'm out. Okay, good talk. Run! This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Natty the legend. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. It's good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Sorona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili Land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Mm, even though I'm glad to hear it, it could be dangerous, that's I. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own, and you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably, would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? Um, okay. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. 
Off on another adventure, are we? Yes, ma'am. But, Mummy, Archie, I don't have time to argue. I've told you repeatedly not to stray far from home, especially when I'm inside with your little sister. But you should see them, Mummy. They're beautiful. These horses with wings. Oh, that's enough. I'm too tired for your stories today. You stay right here where I can see you. Now, why don't you do some more drawings for me? Hmm? Very well, Mummy. Huh. Okay. Hello? So it's not this house. Let's go check. This is where the sound came from, yeah? This is locked. It's, is this black? No, it's not. Is it? No, it's not. It looks like him, though. What is this? Jalal Sami. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Sami, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. <sighs> any rumours going about? Any whispers going about the town? There's a thief on the loose by the name of Katrin Haggerty. She's an ashwinder. She's stealing everything that's not nailed down, and people have had enough. Katrin's hiding in a camp just southwest of town. Mm. What, do we sell? what do you have for sale? I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, then it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> my ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. What do you have for sale? Let's have a look. What can I help you with today? How much is a... Uh, a potion that enhances drinker's defense by covering it with the Duroka rocky skin? Spell image, a resource a bit of health, no, nothing to. Ooh, I got an ancient mystery scarf again, so that means we can sell this one. I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. We can sell this. We're not gonna sell this. These goggles are really good, by the way. Uh, and this nightwear is really good as well. So, let's see if we can wear those Hope items. See you again sometime. Thank you. Jamal. Let's have a look. So we should wear this. Yep. And then hand wise there's nothing we can do. Face wear. These are way better. 14 defense. Yep. Okay. We can still use this skin though. Oh, what's that? <laughs> uh, can I change the skin on that? Oof. I'm guessing no skin. Scarf. We have a legendary plus 10 defense here. That's cool. Change the skin on that. Nothing we can do here. And this is all, okay. I think that's it. Inventory is something new apparently. Oh, the, yeah. Moonstone and the mushrooms. What's this? New ingredients. 
same thing moonstone mushrooms okay let's keep going we're gonna go help the stranger they must have come this way think I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be so... <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid Oh, are we battling? <laughs> Please, I didn't really go this one. Hmm. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Ooh. The collection section of your field guide has been updated with your new enemy type. You may learn valuable insight on enemies such as their weaknesses to certain spells. I'll just find out. Oh. oh, I think I blocked that one. Maybe not in time, but. Alright. Did we get him? Oh, that was so close. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Been so close to Hogwarts. Oof. That was close. Nora Treadwell. Nora, what was that? Are you alright? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Who's you Priya? someone named Priya? Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin. Gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff. Brilliant potioner. Has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. Hmm. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Mm. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. Did I you? suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb, 
Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the centre. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the centre of the symbols. Oh, Precisely. Amazing. Would you care to do the honours? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. Okay. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Mm. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Okay. Wait. So, these are the pillars, right? That you're talking about. Each pillar has a swirl. Rebellion. I don't know what she means. Oh. Over here. Use Mellow Sweet. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Um, maybe incendio? Incendio. Beard. The flames make the pyre sink. Uh huh. Back where they started. Mm. So I need to do it in a limited time. Boom. Now what, Miss Nora? I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Mm. And, and be you. careful out here. Now I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Okay. School. <laughs> Collections. New ingredient. Mellow sweet, probably. Each shoes. New enemies. What was that? An Ash Winder duelist. Yeah, he was pretty strong. New ingredient. To two mellow sweet leaves, so we can do a couple more. We still have some combat achievement. <laughs> Off she goes, just like that. She disappeared. Okay, then I think we can finally go to Herbology class 
Wait, can I not teleport from here? Let's have a look. Mm. I think we just teleported. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Perfect. Hello. Is this the professor? No, that's a student. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. Mm -hmm. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Are those the screaming yes. ones? When you pull them out? Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Yeah, that's the one that screams, right? Let's see. Now, everyone. Grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Oh boy. Jesus. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with her. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Okay, Everett. If you say so. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like not grass. I'm convinced that behind her rather stodgy exterior, Professor Weasley's had some rather marvellous adventures. If I had to pick a professor to race against, it'd be... Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to Thank get you, a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't she it? She almost seems younger than me. Such late notice. 
Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Okay. Let's see how to balance my star thistle and wheat. Nifla's fancy or roses? Let's go plant the seed, Professor Garlic. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. The Chinese You'll chomping find cabbage. That some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Mm. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Okay, Professor. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. What's up, I'll be Leander? showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. This way. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Thank Excuse you, me. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Oh. Thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Wait. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crashing you? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. And uh, Ravenclaws too. At least you did. Mm, at least I did. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Mm -hmm. Go on. Grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a thumb. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. See that dummy? How do I toss? Hold the bumper and R. On. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden mm. last year to keep the gnomes out. There's a weapon, so these are a weapon. Gnoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Huh. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Yeah, I suppose they could come in handy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Mm. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Okay. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. I'll be seeing you. Okay. I'll race you there. reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves I shall end our lesson here terribly sorry Mr. Clopton 
I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. I picked them. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. As I am. Plants offer so much. That's true. I do like Magical plants. plants have so life. much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. We'll do that, Professor Garlic. There we go. Herbology class completed. To make anything grow, we must. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. Mm. Most strange indeed. Let's have a look. What are you up to? Oceans class. Let's go to potions class. I think that's where everyone's going right now. These are all my classmates. My buddies. This way. Oh. This way. Do you remember us jumping towards this book the whole time, thinking we could catch it? Now we have Akio. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Ah. Wait, so... Oh, my bad. Lumos. Lumos. Oh. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Oh, the thing is, I forgot where that frame is. Where is that frame, though? I hope to have an odd choice for wandering about outside your dormitory. Was it this one? Is not is it not this one? Ha! I knew oh. there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Right. Cool. Okay, let's continue to potions class. Maybe all of someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. It's a lot of talking behind the back going on here. I saw an aura patch on Professor Sharp's desk. I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. It's quite the classroom. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. That's a healing potion. Mr. Takar, okay. can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Okay.
Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Mm -hmm. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze of the will be disastrous. Or clump juice. Okay. Some more? Really? Give it a good stir. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. Thank you, and Professor. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Okay. To his office My and get parents the considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, you did. But why do you want to know? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fupa feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Yeah. Mm. Look, this is how I see it. We're already getting help and extra things from the professor, so I don't think. I don't know, Gareth. I don't I want to get on Sharp's bad side. Betrayed that you trust. Are. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. I don't know if it's valuable or not. I've enough to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. I'll sort something else out. No hard feelings, man. No hard feelings. Remember. Precision. <laughs> and there's the feather. <laughs> uh, uh, so, the mongrel pool. Fur. The ash winter eggs. What oh, was that? Okay. Little gold from the chest. Did we get the feather? We already got away with saying no, so. Ocean stations organized and free of clutter. Should you chop the Dittany or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate. I think loss it's of the endurance potion when you could brew. Brew an endurance potion, yep. No, so it's just. I just need to wait, I don't need to do anything. Okay.
pick it up. That was it, wasn't and it? And now we add the Mallow Suite, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! That's what I just did. What's happening? Now, Mr. Weasley. Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Oh, boy. Again. Okay. I brewed an Edoras potion as you asked, Professor. Glad you managed to stay on task. Not every class is so eventful. I saw Mr. Weasley speaking with you earlier. He can be quite persuasive. Glad you managed to resist. You've done well today. I confess I was... Skeptical, given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Mm. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Thank you, Professor. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. There we go, guys. I think that's going to be it for this one. Thank you all very much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you enjoyed please leave a like i have a blessed day greetings i understand you're quite the enterprising oh. young ravenclaw it's Gerbil, professor too. fig tells me you found a long lost book for him i'd like to talk to you about it and i definitely will talk to you next time gerbold have a nice one see you guys